two weeks. Yeah, we'll have to. Testing. Ah, yes. And if you want to talk on the 2nd of May in our IPROM meeting in May, um, yeah, please talk to me or Robert or one of us or email us or message us on the website or meet up or whatever. <laughs> we take messages by all channels. And, um, uh, yep. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Lightning talks will be right after this. Um, uh, yeah, last announcement, I guess, on my list. Um, would like to thank Google for the room and the food, pizza. Put our hands together for the pizza. <laughs> and the roof. Today is the kind of day when you really appreciate the roof over your head. OK, so lightning talks. Anybody wanted to give a lightning talk, something you want to ask, share? Um, complain about? Yeah, it's only like three to five minutes, so you don't have to worry about um, running, running out of steam. Well, here's one we prepared earlier from Robert. <laughs> um, I just wanted to, ask, not so much a lightning talk, but to ask a question. I have a uh, <clears throat> Nagios instance that doesn't seem to be very consistent in its uh, permissions. I don't seem to be have it able to, there doesn't seem to be, there seems to be permissions from various things that seem to be set in which users can see what servers on the Nagios server, uh, but I can't see any sort of <clears throat> consistency. Uh, I'm using CheckMK and with check MK, if it's by it seems to add any users who are part of the contact list to the to those hosts to be able to see those hosts, but Nagio seems to be using some other mechanism, and they I'm not really sure what's happening. So I'm just after if anybody's got any tips related to that. No. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. No. All right. So I've got a, does anybody know what Nagios is? So, yeah. so I've got the Nagios server, <coughs> and I'm using the CheckMK plugin, which is, uh, you know, has some, makes it easier to configure various things. And <coughs> it seems that when I configured it, it added any users that were part of the contact group for a, a group of hosts or whatever added them to be able to see and access those hosts and see those hosts in the list of hosts and their statuses and that sort of thing. <clears throat> but um, I'm not so, some of the users that I want to have access, I don't want to be part of contact groups or part of contacts for those hosts. They, I just want them to generally see those, those servers. And I can't really see how that's controlled. Because there's one user, there's a couple of users that are not real users. They're, they're, uh, you, they're other systems talking to Nagios to get status for, for the various hosts and that sort of thing. So I don't want them as a contact group because there's no email associated with them and there's no person to contact. <coughs> but when, those, when that user comes into the system, it doesn't see all the hosts. It only sees some of the hosts. So, yeah, maybe I just had them to the contact and just give them a dummy email or something and just disable notifications or something like that. That's about the only thing I can think of. And I was hoping that maybe someone knew a little bit more about how Nagios permissions work. No, okay. Uh, that's it. That's my lightning talk. Sorry? <coughs> Not if I can't get the permissions to work consistently. All right. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we just go on with the 
we haven't got any more lightning talks. Maybe we just go on with the next talk. Um, I don't know. Does anyone have lightning talks? Okay. Um, microphone. Um, I'm judging. Uh, so the news recently, if you're on uh, YCombinator.com, is that they're going to change the comment system. So now, um, it's you're only going to be able to comment on news articles if you have um, approval from someone who's got a karma rating of over a thousand, right? Um, I'm wondering two things. One, what does everyone think about this? And two, what other news feeds can I use that are good? This is the Hacker News Y Combinator.com one. Yeah. All right. So I'm seeing, I'm guessing that everyone's in the same sort of dilemma that I am in, where sort of the quality of news feeds is diminishing over time. Does that seem to be a problem that everyone else is having? Yeah, but 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 what? But where do you get your your cool and fancy, valuable? I'm going to improve your life news then. Where? Somewhere, alexsirwell.com. Is there anything else? Or are we all in the same sort of shoe? Oh. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to say. Cool. <laughs> Have you been bad mouthing people on the internet? Uh, who is doing the next talk? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Any more queries? We seem to have lightning talk queries this month rather than answers or presentations or uh, query number three. <laughs> hey, I'm um, setting up a Java um, server at home. The Java server part's okay, but um. Do you know a, a web interface for it that's kind of, you know, easy to configure? <laughs> Jabba, uh, XMPP, instant messaging. Yeah, that's the actual, does, yeah. I'm looking for a web interface for Jabba. To use it as a user, yeah, send messages. Sorry, what was that? Tomcat and I don't see how that helps, but right here. Thank you. Okay. Um anyone else with a lightning talk or yeah, or a question to which nobody knows the answer. That seems to be the pattern tonight. Okay, I guess um, we'll uh, move on to our first short talk, which is um, reuse or recycle your old computer. Tom is is our speaker here. 